Welcome back everybody to another video here on my YouTube channel and today I want to talk a little bit about the horror from 2021. Now we all know that 2020 pretty much flatlined everything horror related or theatrical releases, anything like that, production on movies, and there's not a lot coming out. Um, however, there's a lot of stuff that got pushed back until 2021 and the announcement of newer stuff being made uh, either later on this year or at the beginning of 2021 to be released later on in 2021. So let's talk a little bit about those movies and we have so much stuff to look forward to. Um, there is, I mean, tons and tons of not, not only just theatrical releases, but um, home video releases, well independent movies and stuff. But I'm just going to talk a little bit about the big budget movies that's coming out. Um, uh, one of the biggest ones that everybody knows about is Halloween Kills. Uh, pushed back all the way to 2021. And the cool thing about it is they are actually planning on fixing some of the things that was wrong with it. And by that means, I mean uh, working on stuff that just didn't work. Uh, just fixing little minor details and stuff that they needed to fix. And they're also planning on doing an IMAX release. So what that means is you're going to be able to experience that movie, a Halloween movie, in the IMAX experience. I have never had the privilege of being able to watch an IMAX movie before. Um, but I've known that a lot of big movies like Star Wars and stuff like that, people say that those have uh, a major impact on how you view the movie in a theater compared to the IMAX viewing of it. And it's like, it's supposed to be really, really cool. And I would love to be able to see Halloween Kills in an IMAX theater. So when it comes out, that's, that's what I'm going to have to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to travel. There's a, an IMAX near me about two hours away. So I'm definitely going to travel and watch this movie. Um, and experience that movie in IMAX. Um, now that also being said, Halloween ends, probably being pushed back to 2022, but um, we'll see where that goes, right? Now the next one is that they are making a new screen movie, and that hasn't been made just yet, but it has been greenlit, so we have that to look forward to. Apparently it's going to be released in 2021. All I know is that there's going to be uh, David Arquette, Courtney Cox, and... I think maybe Nev Campbell is coming back. I don't know if she's been confirmed yet. It may be just be rumors. But um, we have that to look forward to. Um, we also have the Chucky TV series. So the original uh, voice of Chucky, Brad Dorf, has been attached to it. Uh, the original creators are attached to it. It's going to air not only on, um, on, on the Sci-Fi channel, but I think it's like USA or something like that as well. So two separate channels that the Chucky TV series is going to be airing on uh, in 2021. Um, there's also talks of the director of the Child's Play remake interested in doing another Child's Play movie. So Child's Play 2 or something like that. Child's Play Part 2, however they want to call it. But it, it, that's not technically been greenlit yet. But the director has came out into interview saying that he's very interested and he's just kind of waiting for MDM to give him the go. Um now, the next thing is they are uh, they're making a new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. And they recently, I think the news was that the, the, the director they had backed out or quit or got fired or something. I don't know the, the whole thing behind it, but they're hiring a new director to take over. Uh, they are working and filming as we speak, so that'll be ready to go in 2021. Uh, there is a new Children of the Corn movie that's coming out. And now I've heard that this movie, that the Children of the Corn movie has already been made and that it's supposed to come out in this year, 2020, of like October or something. But none of that has been confirmed yet. But I feel like that it's something they could possibly push in like around September or October. Um, just to say, hey, here it is. It's coming out here. That's, that's a possibility. Um, but as of right now, it doesn't have an official release date, to my knowledge. If it does, please just comment down below and let me know. But um, so 20, I'm just saying it's... Let's just push that to 2021. That's a possibility for that one to be coming out. Uh, there's the new Jigsaw movie, um, The Book of Saul or something like that. Um, it's supposed to be coming out as well this year, but I think that got pushed back to 2021. I don't know the whole legitimate release for those either. Um, there's a, an announcement for, new, uh, for a new Paranormal Activity movie. I know a lot of people aren't really into those movies. Um, I don't really care for them that much either. But they are, uh, a, there are a minority of people who really like those movies. Uh, usually the younger audience is the one that really likes those. It not only, um, even though I don't like them, I will say that it does bring, 
like horror into the spotlight. It brings a lot of people talking about horror movies, talking about scary stuff, and it makes theaters look like horror is the top thing. So as long as they're making money and people are going to see them, it gets the ability to get more horror movies made, more sequels made, more green light for anything scary related. And that I can back 100%. I'm perfectly fine with that. It may not be a cup of tea for me, but it does make the possibility of stuff that I do like get released or get made. Um, so there's that as well. There is also news that um, I don't know if it's been confirmed yet, but there at least is a rumor that there's going to be kind of like a remake slash sequel or something related to the Urban Legend franchise. Um, so that's, I mean, I don't think there's really any information except for the fact that they have said that they're working on making a new one. Um, so that's another, uh, just one more that we have to look forward to. Um, not only that, but there's also uh, probably going to be new episodes of, I, I think Supernatural is probably going to be finishing up in 2021 for the TV show. Um, there's probably going to be the Walking Dead stuff happening in 2021 as well. But there's just so many different things. There's also um, the, re well, it's being made this year uh, or being worked on and hopefully be released sometime next year. But Carousel 2, which is an independent movie, uh, The Barn Part 2, independent horror movie, um, just a lot of those things coming out independently. And we can, we can just look at them and say 2021 is going to be an amazing year for horror films, in my personal opinion. They may not be good movies. I don't know. But as far as how many is coming out, um, the franchises that they're using, they, this is just the beginning of it. They haven't even announced all the stuff either. They could come out tomorrow and announce that there's going to be a new Nightmare on Elm Street movie. It's just we have no idea. That's just the stuff we have so far in 2021. And we're not even into October yet of 2020. So um, hopefully everything clears up. Everything goes back to normal. Sorry. Everything goes back to normal. And we are able to get back to the movie theaters. Get back to Hollywood making movies. Get back to people making independent films as well. And we can have even more stuff come out in 2021. Um, so guys, I know I probably left out a few things. It's been announced. A few movies like franchise sequels. Um remakes, whatever, um, comment in the, uh, in the comments down below. Let me know what movies I left out, what movies you're looking forward to in 2021. It don't even have to be a horror movie. Just let me know what you're looking forward to, and uh, we'll have a chat about it. So thank you guys for watching, and we will uh, come back another time for another video. See ya.